This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Tenba BYOB 10 camera insert, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So the primary material that we're working with around the outside here is 300D polyester. I think it looks pretty sleek. It's held up really well. Um, obviously I've had my camera in here, so I haven't really beaten this thing up, but it's been in and out of a bunch of different backpacks here at Pack Hacker and just uh, gone on two weekend trips with me. So it's done pretty well, I think, in just looks wise and keeping my gear safe. So at the moment, this comes in black and blue. This is obviously the black one. Um, and the blue one is like a dark blue. It's like almost like darker than navy blue. And I really like the look of that one, but those are the only two options at least that I saw right now at the time of recording. So nothing super saturated if you're into that, but I kind of like that these are subdued looking. So you don't really look like you're carrying around, you know, potentially thousand dollars worth of gear. But we've got YKK zippers. I really like these little poles that they have on here with the little T10 butt logo. Really easy to open and close. One thing to note is that sometimes, not sure if I can even really do it right now, but this pull from the inside kind of pops out like this and you run into it. Um, not really not the end of the world at all if you just push it as it was when I opened it. That way, not a problem. That's not really the zipper's fault, but just something that I noticed when I was doing this. It didn't, as I said, it didn't really bother me. Um, just something that I noticed. So on the sides here, as you can see, we have these little uh, loops here and it comes with a strap. This is obviously a camera insert, um, but you can kind of turn it into a sling using this strap here. And the strap has, I'm not sure the branding on these, uh, KJM, that's what it is. Um, that's not a brand that I don't, I don't think I've seen that before, but I haven't had any issues with it. They're really easy to use and they swivel. So it's easy to make sure, I mean, it, if you leave it in your bag for a while with this on, it might get a little tangled up, but you just twist it and then you're ready to go. So easy enough to pop these in on and off as I'm struggling to do it, but I promise it actually is pretty easy in practice when you're not on camera and sitting at a high desk here. Um, and these kind of stay out of your way when you're not using them. So I like that because they're, they pop down like this, so they're pretty easy to attach, but when you're not using them, they stay out of your way and um, they don't like get caught on things when you're pulling it in and out of a bag. Same with the handle here. This handle, as you can see, is not doesn't have a lot of um, just stuff going on really with it at all, but it pops down easily. So when you slide this into your bag, it's not gonna get in the way. It's not gonna take up extra space, but you can grab it. Not the most comfortable because there's no padding or aeration or anything like that, but I do like how minimalistic it is because typically you're not gonna be carrying this for an extended period of time anyway. Um, but if you had to, it's not you know the worst. There's a pretty good hand clearance there and you can kind of get a good grip. But overall, pretty happy with the outside, um, but let's jump into how you can carry it as a sling. So you could really use either side of this as the back panel if you want to. There really isn't like a, it's like I said, it's not a, it's not a camera sling. Um, it just has a strap, which I think is very convenient and I like it. This is a um, camera insert first, camera cube first, and then you can add this if you want to. So no real like dedicated back panel on either side. So there's no padding, there's no aeration or anything like that. And you can use either side if you want to, but if you have it, this side at the back panel, you don't can't really have as good of access because it kind of opens like this and it's like awkward because it's like like next to your body. So I typically wore it with this as the back panel and it just kind of feels like a brick while you're wearing it. It's because it really is just a brick with your camera gear in it and it's really heavy because you obviously have lenses and stuff like that inside of here, but it's not super uncomfortable. Like I wore this on a hike and then a trip to like a dam by where my mom lives and um, Pretty good, I, like, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't the most comfortable, but I was wearing a coat. So the strap here is very minimalistic, but something else that you can do is you can put any strap you want on this just because it is a loop, it's not attached. Whatever you can attach on there, you can use that strap. So we do have two adjusters here, so you can kind of get um, into the nitty gritty of how long you want this strap to be, how short you want it to be. But no padding, no aeration. So if you are just wearing a t-shirt or a tank top, that might dig in a little bit. This is a little bit of a rough material. But overall, as I said, this is a camera cube or a camera insert, and that's what it does first and foremost. It's gonna protect your gear. This comes secondary. And if you're looking for a camera sling, this probably isn't for you. But if you want a camera cube that you can carry as a sling in a pinch if you need to, this is a pretty good option, I think. So if you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure you throw a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. But this is actually exactly how I wore it on a hike I took this weekend up by my mom's house. We only went like four miles or something like that, not a ton of elevation gain, but I had it on my back while we were walking and I had um, a dog with me. So I was like walking the dog on my front 
And then when I wanted to take a photo, I just transitioned, hopefully didn't hit the mic or anything there, uh, to my front so that way I could have access to my camera gear. And then sometimes too, what I, what I would do is I would have it on my back like this and have my camera out like around my neck and then just have the strap around my neck, I should say. So I have that and then I have my lenses in here if I need to use them. So as I mentioned earlier, it just kind of feels like a brick. It's not by any, any means the most comfortable camera sling that I've worn. It's just a big brick kind of on your body. I do have a larger frame, so it doesn't feel as like intimidating to me as it might for someone with a smaller frame. But again, it's, it's a camera cube that you're wearing around your neck. Like, uh, kind of feel like Flavor Flav, except instead of a clock, it is a big camera cube. So this might work for you, it might not. It just depends how often you're gonna use it, what you're gonna use it for, and uh, how comfortable you want to be. So before we dive into the different compartments on this pack, um, I guess I should say pack this uh, camera insert, I'm gonna take the strap off here, because typically when I'm in transit with this thing, I take the strap off, just because I don't want to like get caught on things and stuff like that. Um, for like when I'm putting it in and out of my bag or the other gear that's in my bag could kind of get wrapped around this. So I take this off and I'll like just wrap it up a little bit, doing it on camera right now. So it's just going awkwardly, um, but just wrap it up like this. And then I'll either stick it somewhere inside the pack or use one of the exterior pockets on this thing. So I'll just like slide it in here, this big back pocket, um, and then slide this in my bag. So I'm gonna take this out just to kind of show you that this is the largest pocket on the exterior here. So if you are using this as the back panel and you stuff something inside of here, um, it's gonna, you're gonna feel it a little bit while you're wearing it. Maybe if you're wearing a big coat, you wouldn't. Um, but I had a um, shutter release inside of here because I was using a film camera. In, in, I had a film camera inside of here, so I had a cable release to use that and that was fine, it didn't really bother me, but if you had something bigger like filters or intervalometer or something like that, you might feel it while you're carrying it. But again, camera cube that can be used as a sling, so you're just trying to bring your camera stuff wherever you're going. On these sides here, we have these water bottle pockets from Stretchy Mesh, as you could probably see and hear there. So you'll be able to fit a smaller water bottle in there or a small travel tripod. If you have a Gorilla Pod or something, it might fit inside of there. Nothing too big, it's not just not gonna work if it's too large. But it's nice to have that because you can bring a water bottle or something. You can't bring a big bottle, like I can't fit my 32 ounce Nalgene inside of here, but anything that's about the size of a 12 ounce disposable bottle or just that thickness, so if you have a taller water bottle, it'll work as long as it's not too big. On the front here, we have these two smaller, I guess I could call them medium-sized pockets. We went for a hike this weekend. I had my phone in one side and then a, my wallet in the other because I knew they were, I'm not gonna be, wasn't gonna be running or anything like that. They were not gonna pop out. But well, there's no topper here, so if you are putting it inside of a bag or just leaving it standalone, you know the ride's gonna get bumpy. Um, just be careful because smaller items could pop out in theory. Uh, I didn't have that happen, but in theory that can happen. Moving into the main compartment, that's where most of the fun is at. So on the top here, we have this, uh, looks like more of like a TPU material here to keep whatever you put inside this pocket clean. We have a little um, lo locking zipper mechanism thing here. And I'm not sure exactly why that's there, but it does ensure that if you put that through there, that the zipper goes all the way to the end. So there's gonna be the smallest hole possible on the end of the zipper track. So I'm gonna put it through here so I can open it for you guys. That's a really good spot to put SD cards, extra batteries, stuff like that that you don't want to get wet. Um, I didn't have any issues with the stuff in the main apartment getting wet either, but it's got this little bit of extra space here just to stow those items and quick access too, because if you put them in the bottom of this camera cube or wherever, they might get lost or uh, just harder to find, I suppose. I really like the dividers that we have uh, inside of here. I like that there are two different kinds of dividers. We have these smaller blue ones, which don't have as much padding, but they're more just for separating gear, at least how I use them. And then we have these bigger, beefier gray ones that match the walls of this camera insert and just kind of make like, you can kind of segment this thing out how you want to with those. So I'm just gonna kind of take everything out of here so you can see how I had it set up. And I typically would have one other lens, but I only brought two lenses with me today. So I would have a lens here in addition to this charger or this charger would come out and just the lens would go here. So I could fit a, probably a, just a bigger prime lens, maybe a low aperture or something like that. Um, but over here, I just have a longer lens inside this side sitting vertically. I probably could have maybe fit, configured it differently to fit it uh, sideways, but I don't have it like that right now. And then I have my Fuji X-T3 over here, which is struggling to come out because I reconfigured this to fit the extra lens. So I was able while I was hiking to be able to just kind of like bring it out like that because the lens goes in like this, but I think it got adjusted when I was preparing for this video. So pulling it out now, as you can see, struggling a little bit, but have my camera inside of there. So I have 
my body a small lens that's an 18 to 55 i think and then a 80 to 200 inside of here with quite a bit of room to spare and as you can see the way i had it kind of set up is that the lens goes under here with the body coming vertically a taller lens right here and then room for a lens or charger or accessories right here so really dig these gray inserts just because you can do a lot with them and they also match these sides here so this thing is pretty well padded as again it's a camera cube it's supposed to protect your gear but you do have this added um, functionality here to use the strap if you want to to carry it instead of putting it inside your bag so there you have it the tenba byob 10 camera insert thanks for keeping it here pack hacker your guide to smarter travel we'll see you in the next one